Hello new friends and old, welcome to this week's video. It is a summer lookbook, which is essentially the outfits that I've been wearing or want to wear to fit the vibes of the summer, which are hopefully good for you and for me. I really enjoyed putting this together. I've been looking forward to having places to go and an actual reason to dress up rather than just staying in my dorm room studying all day. So this summer has been perfect for that. I also haven't been shopping very much or at all lately. I've really only bought shoes because I needed them. So it's been fun to sort of challenge my creativity and come up with new outfits with the clothes that I've been wearing for a very long time now. I do intend to go thrifting again sometime soon, so maybe I will vlog that or have a haul. The only difficult part is I can't try anything on at the thrift store, so I tend to buy a lot less, which is probably a good thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I would like to thank Teddy Blake for sponsoring it. I am featuring this purse in some of the outfits, and you've probably seen this before, but I'm really excited to tell you about the sale that they have at the end of this video. And let me know what you think about the outfits. <laughs> So to fit the farmer's market fresh vibe, I decided to go with this green thrifted shirt with a lot of cute cinching detail. And then I paired this with a wrap skirt that I got from Urban Outfitters. It has some flowers on it and is also green and pink. To accessorize, I decided to wear these Nike Air Force Ones. These are my new favorite shoes, as well as these dangly earrings that I got from a bookstore and a necklace that I got from a family friend. It's also green to fit the theme. And then I used this hair tie that I got from PacSun. I really like the silky texture. Then just because I was feeling fancy, I threw on these two rings that I got from my Connecticut trip. And I also decided to carry around this canvas tote bag and that completed the outfit. My favorite part about this outfit is the hints of color that are all throughout the look. For example, you have obviously the fancy green shirt, but there's also a little bit of green in the skirt, the necklace, and in the shoes, of course. In addition, there's the pinkish red color that is in the skirt, in the earrings, and on the back of my shoes that you probably didn't see, but I love tying together an outfit with little bits of color. This outfit included a Brandy Melville black crop top with a notch and this cute plaid skirt that I got online. And then I paired that with a star necklace from Brandy, a lock necklace from PacSun, dangly star earrings from PacSun, and these studs from Brandy. And then of course my two gold rings and these Aldo sandals. I also paired this with a purse from Teddy Blake. This is the Ava Gold 11 inch cream purse and it is so adorable and matches the outfit pretty nicely. I'm really happy with how casually chic this outfit is. I feel like the light and dark contrast of the skirt and shirt can sometimes be hit or miss. Sometimes you just have to go for it. I've been wearing this outfit quite a bit. I wore it salsa dancing once, even though that isn't really what you're supposed to wear while salsa dancing. But I think it's super cute. I love the fact that there's shorts under the skirt so I can be more active while still looking a little bit more put together. And when it comes to the jewelry, you already know I love layering necklaces. For this outfit, I decided to make what would be my swimsuit cover-up, this black long dress from Urban Outfitters. I also threw on these Pura Vita bracelets. I love stacking bracelets and I love the variety of them. I also decided to wear this silver rose necklace from Brandy Melville, paired that with some angel wing dangly earrings and studs. And since it is a beach day, I decided to wear these Amazon flip-flops. They're pretty comfortable. I'm in love with how flowy this dress is and the buttons down the front are so cute. I also just love spinning around in it because it's, it's just so comfortable. This is also the type of dress that can be dressed up or dressed down, sorry for the kind of pun. But anyway, there's just something so fun about wearing a maxi dress in the summer. It can get a little bit hot with the black color, but I really do love it. And it's perfect for a night on the beach as well. And then the last thing I'll say about this is that the straps are just adorable. I love how they're tied at the top of the shoulder. I 
started off this outfit with a green tank from Brandy Melville, these black denim cutoff shorts from Urban Outfitters, and also this choker necklace I got from Etsy. My friend's cousin makes these. They're super cute. And then I decided to braid my hair just to get it out of my face for once. And I also paired this outfit with, of course, my favorite Nike Air Force Ones, which also have that pop of green that matches the shirt. I wanted to keep this outfit casual yet still cute because just walking down the street, you want to be relaxed, you have nowhere to be. Those are the vibes that I was going for. Just super chill, nothing bright or too flashy, just something really casual to walk down the street in and very comfortable, of course. It's also the perfect outfit to just sit down and watch the animals and nature around you or you can walk around and enjoy the place, dance around if you really want to. I just really like how easy this outfit is. Also, denim shorts are my go-to for the summer and these are just the perfect color. They're not completely black but they're a little bit gray and just look a little bit worn in which I love. This next outfit is one of my favorites, but also one that I haven't gotten a chance to wear much this summer. So I started off with this flat neckline Brandy Melville tank top in one of my favorite shades of purple, as well as this tie top, also from Brandy Melville. I love this because you can tie it either in the back or in the front, and I just love that versatility. I'm also wearing these Madewell denim mom shorts, and I paired this with a silver star necklace from Brandy, a silver coin necklace, and silver star hoop earrings from PacSun. Then I'm wearing this silver ring that I just found in my mom's closet at some point. Again, I'm wearing my Air Force Ones and pairing it with this adorable Teddy Blake purse. I don't have a ton of bow-like things in my closet, which is kind of why I love this shirt. I love the little tie in the front or in the back. It creates such a cute neckline, especially with the tank top underneath it. And I'm also obsessed with denim shorts. I know some people don't like denim mom shorts, but these are just so comfortable. And I got them on sale at Madewell. These were like $6 in the middle of winter, and I'm just really excited to be able to actually start wearing them in the heat. I will say it's a little dangerous to wear white when you're going out for ice cream, but hey, it'll be all right. For this next outfit, I decided to start with a long sleeve top because it does get a little chilly at night. This is from Forever 21 and I love the little detail in the front. And then I'm pairing this with these white shorts that I actually got from Amazon. Thank you, Daisy. These are men's shorts, so they have zippered pockets, which is really nice and they're extremely comfortable. I'm also wearing a layered necklace from Brandy with this little half moon shape and also these cute snake earrings I got also from my Connecticut trip, as well as some gold studs. Then for shoes, I'm wearing these really old white Adidas sneakers that I got many years ago and have since replaced with my new favorite white sneakers. I don't need to say their name. This is just the perfect outfit for a casual nighttime walk. It's easy to move around in, but still pretty cute. When you're walking around, you don't really want to carry a purse, but these pockets make it perfect to carry around your keys. For this last outfit, I decided to go with this really cute brown crop top that I got online and of course the classic denim skirt from American Eagle. I love that there's five buttons up the front. I also decided to wear this with the two rings from Connecticut as well as a third one that I got. I'm pairing this with these snake-like earrings that I got from Cape Cod and again I am layering my necklaces. The top chain one is a gift from Altered State and the bottom one is another gift. I'm not actually sure where it's from. And then of course, my classic Teddy Blake purse. For shoes, I went once again with those Aldo sandals. The colors match the purse really well, so I decided that the brown theme would continue. To me, a denim skirt is the definition of cute yet casual, so that's what this outfit is called. This is just so fun for walking around the city, hanging out with friends, doing literally anything, including baking with friends. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Honestly, this outfit is perfect for that.
so as I promised, we're gonna talk a little bit about this purse. It is amazing. I have the Ava Gold Purse 11 inch, I believe, and it looks like this. It has a longer strap as well, as you saw in the video, with like a zipper and then this cute opening right here. I've had this purse for a few months now. It got sent to me while I was in college, so definitely sometime during the semester. And it has been so useful. I brought this with me to New York City and it was incredible because it's huge and it's also convenient to carry around and just so sturdy. I love it. It also matches with like everything I own because it's cream and also I wear mostly gold jewelry, so it ends up working out with the gold details on here. So right now, Teddy Blake is having an anniversary sale, so things are up to 70% off, which is really nice. So if you want to also get a Teddy Blake purse and match with me or get a different one then the link is in the description and if you miss the sale I also have a discount code you can use. I hope that you like it as much as I do if you get one and let me know what you think. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the outfits weren't too repetitive based on what you've seen in the past from me or in my previous videos. I tried to make things a little bit more interesting by giving each one a theme but let me know what you'd like to see next if you want to see me go thrifting or something like that. I do have a really exciting vlog coming up because I went to Connecticut with some friends from EMS so I will get that up as soon as I can and I also went salsa dancing and just so many fun things have happened this summer and I can't wait to share them with you. I hope you are all having a wonderful summer as well. Let me know what you've been up to because I'm very curious and also what kind of good foods you've been having because I am meal prepping and need to get ideas. I'm also 100% down to film a cook with grace video as someone suggested but I also need things to cook so let me know if you have any suggestions. Also the pod is back in town so maybe there will be a pod vlog coming up I hope. I We'll see you hopefully next week for another video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye!